Hi, we hope you will be fine and enjoying our bioinformatic content. As you know that right now the use of AI is at boom. Almost every field there is an exponential increase in use of ChatGPT, including SEO content writing, coding, and etc. As a researcher, we should also opt to use the AI tool to increase our productivity. So in this video tutorial, we will introduce you some of the state-of-the-art AI tools that will help you to dig the scientific literature in a better way. So let's begin this video. But before the start of this video, please let us introduce you our gig on the Fiverr. We have created it for you. If you need any help in bioinformatic analysis, including docking, molecular dynamic simulation, drug discovery, or the genomic bioinformatics, including RNAC, NGS, or the machine learning projects, then please do contact us. We will provide you the link of this gig in the description below. We assure you that we will provide you the best quality services. We hope that you will contact us. So now let's move back to our main video. The first AI tool which we are going to introduce you is a Semantic Scholar. This tool will help you to find the research articles in a better way. You may think that this tool is just like a Google Scholar. Yes, you are very right. This tool is like a Google Scholar, but remember that the Google Scholar is not an AI supported tool. The Google Scholar will give you the broader search as compared to the Semantic Scholar. Let's take a one example to understand the use of the Semantic Scholar. Let's assume that we are right now interested to dig a scientific literature related to the protein engineering of alpha amylase. So what we will do, we will simply type the alpha amylase protein engineering in a search bar of the Semantic Scholar. After typing the protein engineering of alpha amylase, we will simply hit the search button. When we will hit the search button, then the Semantic Scholar will search all of the articles related to the protein engineering of alpha amylase. As you can see it here that the Semantic Scholar found 75 research articles related to our query. Now let's type the same query on the Google Scholar. Now let's type the same query on the Google Scholar and hit the search button. As you can see it here that the Google Scholar also presented a scientific literature to us related to the protein engineering of alpha amylase. But when you will inspect this scientific literature in bit detail, then you will find it out that most of the research articles here are not very much relevant to our search query. So, we will prefer what? The Google Scholar or the Semantic Scholar? We think so that the Semantic Scholar will be a better option as compared to the Google Scholar for more refined search. Another tool which we want to present it here to search the scientific literature for our query is elicit.org. Let's type the same scientific query here and hit the search button. As we will hit the search button, Scholar will search the scientific literature available on the net for you. Now, the one of the very interesting feature here is the abstract summary. As you guys know it very well that the abstract is a summary of the research article. Now this tool will prepare a summary of the abstract and present it for you. You can read the summary and you can find it out that which research article is most appropriate for you. And later on, you can download that research article if it is really relevant to you and read it in full detail. Now let's come back to the Semantic Scholar and let us tell you the one of the very important feature of the Semantic Scholar. Let's assume for a moment that we are interested in a first result which is a protein engineering of alpha amylase for low pH performance. So let's click on it. When you will click on this then you will have this page. In this page you can see the abstract of the paper and you can find out the link of a PubMed. When you will click on this link then this full article if it will be available then will be open in front of you. If you scroll down, then you will find out below the two options. The first one is citation, another one is a related paper. In the citations, you will find out the papers in which this research article has been cited. While if you will click on the related papers, then you will find out all of the related papers like this one in front of you. You can screen those research articles and you can download them if these research articles are really of your interest. Now let's assume for a moment that you have found a one research article which is really of your interest. But that research article is really lengthy and you don't have so much time to read that whole research article. So is there any AI tool which can actually help you to read the research articles in just 5 minutes? Yes. We are going to present here the size space to you and it will help you to get through your article in just 5 minutes. You just need to sign it up to the size space and then you will have this page in front of you. You need to upload your research article here in a PDF format. 
To upload the research article on the site space, simply click here on the upload PDF and click on the browse to upload the research article in the PDF format here on the site space. We are going to upload this research article. After selecting the article, simply click on the upload one file. The uploading may take some time. Obviously, it will depend upon your internet connectivity. As you can see it here that our research article is now finally open into a size space. The size space has read this research article and now it is ready to answer our questions. You can see here another window along with our paper which is Copilot. Now this Copilot will help you to answer your questions related to your research article. If you will click here on this drop down menu button, so then this window will open in front of you. This window is giving you some ready to made questions that you can ask to the size space to answer the question related to your paper. For example, if we are interested to know the summary of the abstract paper, so then here is a question, explain the abstract of this paper in two lines. If you will click on this one, so then in a few moments, the size space will make a summary of the abstract paper and give it to you. As you can see it here that the size space had made a summary of the abstract and it is presented to us. We can also save this output by clicking here on this save as a notebook. If you will click here on a save as a notebook, then the new window will pop up in front of you and here there is a response of the size space. Simply click here on this save button. When you will click on this save button, then the response will be saved in the form of the notes. Now let's ask some more question to the size space. Suppose we are interested in a method section of this paper. We are simply going to click here on this methods used in this paper. So we will simply click on this one and after a few moments the size space will give us a response. So let's wait for the response. As you can see it here that the size space had made a summary of the method section and presented to us. Along with some ready to made question in a copilot window, you can also provide here your own prompt. Let's assume for a moment that we are really much interested to find out the relationship of PKC epsilon with a cancer. So what we are going to do, we are going to type here a prompt, please tell us the relationship between the cancer and the PKC. After typing this command, we will simply hit this arrow button. When we will hit this arrow button, then the size space will create a response to us. So let's wait for the response. As you can see it here that the size space has read the whole paper and presented a response to us, telling us that PKC expression dysregulation is associated with the poor overall survival in an ovarian cancer. However, no significant association was found between PKC expression and overall survival for lung, gastric and the breast cancer. That's cool. We hope so. Now you will have a good idea that how you can use the size space to read the research article in just 5 minutes. Another very interesting feature of a size space is explain math and the table. Let's assume for a moment that you have a one table in the search article and it's pretty hard to understand that table. So what you can do, you can straightforwardly move to the table and then you can click here on this explain math and the table and then size space will help you to understand that table. Let's take a one example and let's scroll down in the paper and find out is there any table. Yes, there is a one table which is table 2 and this table 2 is giving us a details of various SNPs that are studied in this research article. Let's say that I want to have a more understanding about this table. So what I will do? I will simply click here on this button and then I will select this whole table. When I will do that, after doing this, simply hit the enter button. Once you will do that, you can see here in a co-pilot, this table has been dragged and now the size space is creating a response to us. So let's wait for the response of the size space. As you can see it here that now size space has given us a response. If you will read this response, then it will help you to understand the content of the table. That's an amazing feature of the size space. We hope so that you will like the size space and you will use it in your future literature review. Another tool is chat PDF. This tool is not specifically designed to read the scientific articles. Instead of the search articles, you can upload any type of the PDF having a content in it and the chat PDF will read it for you and then answer your questions. So let's upload a similar paper to chat PDF as well. To upload the research article to the chat PDF, click here on this drop PDF here and select your research article PDF. The PDF will be uploaded in a few moments. You can see it here that our PDF is uploaded 
and now the analysis process has been started. Now currently our PDF is uploaded and this chart PDF is giving us some of the details regarding our PDF and some of the example questions as you can see it here. Now we are ready to ask a question to the chart PDF and the chart PDF will answer those questions. Now let's ask a question to the chart PDF which is related to our document and that is the same question which we have asked to the size space for our search article. And this question is, please tell us the relationship between PKC and the cancer. After typing this question, simply hit this arrow button. When you will click the arrow button, then the chat PDF will give you the response. As you can see it here that the chat PDF is building a response against your question. And this is telling us that how the PKC is associated with the cancer. If using these two tools, you can go through your research article in pretty fast pace. We hope so that this video will be very interesting for you to dig up the scientific literature for yourself. Once you have found the scientific literature related to your search question, now you can compile it up and you can present it in the form of a nice article, which can be published in very good reputed journals around the globe.